Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Man 7. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! We beat the four Robot Masters. So we have storyline. What does Dr. Light think of base? He doesn't appear to be our enemy. Not doing anything that notes him as such at least. What is this? The Robot Museum! Save it, Mega Man! Robot Museum. Is it run by robots? No! It is celebrating robots. Isn't this Gutsman's stage theme? It's Snake Man, Blizzard Man, there's Plant Man in the background, and Flame Man, and behind them is Quick Man, multiple times. Yeah, Quick Man will never, never goes away, I swear. Barrow and Heat, there's Plant again, so the background is repeating. That's Snake Man, isn't it? Yeah. On we go! Hey, there's Gutsman. Wily, what is your thing with Gutsman? I don't get it. We have Skull and Ringman in the background. Oh! Yeah. Out of here. Use the Mega Buster to knock the head off, and use Danger Rat to deal with, to destroy the head. Speed that fight up a lot. Well, he has brought more robots to play. Get to work, kid. There's the other four! <laughs> now, normally, you'd take on Slashman because he's weak against the Freeze Cracker. But, as I've stated before, I don't like repeating stages. So I'm gonna start with Turbo Man. Because Turbo Man has the Flame Weapon, and Slashman is the Forest Stage. So, there you go. following weakness order, then Turbo Man would actually be the last one you'd fight. Oh, hi, fella. Save me, Rush. Don't! Oh! You did not save me, Rush. You darn doob! the junk shield. Hmm. Which unfortunately gets that charge noise, but oh well. Interestingly, these guys are easily defeated with the junk shield, but as long as you have it active, they will not do anything. See? Out of the way. Oh. 
Careful. Okay. Out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Rush, save me. I'm bad at these jumpings. Because after all, these tires are uh, empty in the middle, so you fall right into them. Cute way of hiding the uh, uh, pit. Kill you. And head on up the ladder. Come over here, grab this, and tell Rush to get off me so he can search. Aha! Thank you, Pooch. I have the, the upgrade for the super adapter. So now that uh, fist we fire off will seat. Also, rush the rush search will point out out secret entryways. Of course, since I planned to come inside of the secret entrance. <laughs> well, that's cute. He's still barking. <laughs> yeah, I got those. Shut up, dog! Greatly entertained that he's still barking. <laughs> that was an experience. Timing! Uh-oh. No! Not Quick Man! I hate Quick Man! Oh, we made it. Jeez. Those flame jets are like the, are like the Quick Man beams, as I'm sure you could have deduced from my reaction. Use a Thunderbolt against this guy, or it's going to take a while. Yeah. It's probably going to take a while anyway. Yeah. There we go. Jerk. CC. Turbo Man. His actual weakness is the noise crush, but we don't have that. Slide under the wheel. Oh. Once the wheels stop screeching, that's when he's gonna that's when he's gonna start moving towards you. He's completely invulnerable while in that car form. Oh! Jerk! You ran me over. That's another one of the things I really like about this game is when compared to uh, 
4, 5, and 6, where he actually, where the Mega Buster can be charged up. Getting hit does not lose the charge in this one. Didn't lose it in the Game Boy games either. Why did, why did they have to lose it in 4, 5, and 6? But the fact that you, that you would lose the charge made the Mega Buster not very useful. Unless you were awesome at dodging stuff, I, of course, am not. <laughs> Typically. Alright. Now we have that. Now we'll go to, to Slash Man. Slash Man is the boss uh, that, for the most part, I can't manage to beat with the Mega Buster. He just, he moves too quickly for me. Kill it! Let's go, Rush. No! Slightly too low. I was hoping that the, uh, Scorch Wheel might actually, uh, destroy the foreground stuff, but nope. My danger rat. Out of here. go to this, because it will prevent me from sliding, which will prevent shenanigans. After all, we are traveling over spikes. Oh. Punch you! <laughs> Recharge that for kicks. The weapon we're going to want is the Thunderbolt. This place has a very has a very Jurassic Park feel to it, and uh, I'm sure that was intentional. Probably a good thing that the T-Rex in Jurassic Park wasn't fire-breathing. <laughs> Love the scorched appearance of the snakes. Toasty! All that so we could reveal this ladder. That ladder is not accessible if you don't burn down the tree. So you actually need to need to use it. We found beat. Bird. Destroy beat's cage. You need a you do need to use a charged shot. Regular shot just kind of bounces off of it. Make use of this so we won't have to worry about stuff. I'll fight Slashman a little bit just so that his 
just that his attack pattern can be seen, but... How many lives do I have? Yeah, I don't... I don't really have enough that I would want to sacrifice one to him. Whoa! Yeah! Yeah, that... That was seriously it. Yeah. Take that. Hit him with the freeze cracker, then he just keeps going to this part of his pattern. Uh, for reals this time. Catch! Look, mate. Yeah, I'm I? Stop that. Don't! Oh. oh! Woods! Jerk. You seem to take a lot less damage when you have that sludge on you. I just noticed that. Maybe I'll have to review the tape or something. <laughs> tape. <laughs> That's a very avid description there, Mega Man. That Dr. Light warns that it is short range. Oh, Slash Claw! Woohoo! And that'll do, f do for now. Until next time, and we'll do more. See you next stage. Later. <laughs>